Vince, Vince, no, Vince, be quiet, okay? I didn't say one thing pro or negative. What I said was he is hurting the NFL. That is a fact. I did not get into pro, anti. I already said Trump shouldn't have done it. I was against him doing it. I already said that. So don't give me this political nonsense. What I said was he is hurting the NFL, and he is, and he's winning it because he's hurting the NFL. He's not getting hurt. The NFL's getting hurt. That's my point. Forget the politics right now. I wasn't pro-Trump there. I wasn't anti-Trump there. I was talking about the NFL. I wasn't talking about it, but he is hurting the NFL. That's the point. It's not political. I'm not making it a pro-Trump, anti-Trump. I'm not having that discussion here. This is not a political conversation right now from the standpoint of the president like or dislike. Trump's take here, what Pence did, that was the story Sunday in the NFL. Pence walking out. It even overshadowed Manning's statue presentation. So that's not what they were looking for. Gino in Manhattan. What's up, Gino? Yeah, hi, Michael. Uh, you know, my dad was uh, a veteran. I have a lot of veterans in my family. And when the anthem is played, I take off my hat and I stand up. But I do not believe I have the right to tell anybody else how they are to display their patriotism. Even, well, even yeah, you don't. You don't. But even employers, I have a real problem with that. I, I can think of nothing more un-American. See, I disagree with you completely on that one. Well, but, see, I, 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 I disagree with you. When, you're in, when they're in, in, in uniform and on the field, they are not, they're working. Uh, you, you, do have a right to, you do have a right to tell employees something. You do have a right to tell I, them I, something. Yeah, but you know, my, I, you have the right to tell employees a lot of things. Right. Here's how you behave on the field. Here's how you behave, behave at practice. You're talking about a belief system. I re, it really, really, really makes me uncomfortable. Because uh, I disagree. Somebody, well, Michael, listen, if they're home, you know, listen, if, if, listen like, if you're on the street, if the national anthem is played at a picnic... You can't tell that player to stand up or sit down. If that national anthem is played when he's in a uniform for which he's paid handsomely in a stadium that someone owns, you know what? Okay. He does. He he does. Okay. He, they, 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 he has he has things he has to abide by as an okay. employee. So what about? Well, let me ask you this: If there's a moment of silence and the Lord's prayer, you're going to make him pray? No. Well, I, I, I didn't say it. Who said anything about making him pray? But, Michael, it's the same kind of thing. It's no, it's about not. The belief system. No, it's yes, not. Yes, it is, Michael. No, it isn't. About, wait, Michael, see, you, wait okay. a second. You, you said, a... Gino, you said, well, you, you, we have a disagreement except one thing. You're wrong. The bottom line oh. is employee, you do, they are employees. You can tell them what to do. They are, them. they are being employed. That but field I, is I'm not. Saying... They are employed at that moment. If they're home or they're in their yard or they're in a parade down the street, you can't tell them whether they can kneel down or stand up. You have no right to. But when and they I'm are saying... in your uniform in your stadium, you can tell them. Okay, Mike. Okay. And I, here's what I'm saying. I'm saying that that idea that you would impose your patriotism on them is incredibly un-American. I'm not telling you. Okay. Wait a second. I am not imposing patriotism on them. I am telling them I am paying you. I am asking you as an employee to adhere to what my rules are. Yeah, That's and I'm all. saying that your rules are un-American. Then don't play for me. Then quit. Okay, good. So they're all going to quit? Don't take, don't take my paycheck. Uh, um, yeah, you know what? I think, and, and you know what? You hit right on the head. That's exactly what's going on with this league. A lot of these guys are like, you know what? I have, have I seen division. one? Hey, have I seen one walk out and not give back a pay no, and give back a paycheck? No, but you know what? That's what we're ending up with, Michael. Well, we then, then, listen, and, and, and I'll tell you this: if a guy walks out and gives back his paycheck, I have a lot of respect for that guy if he yeah, does that. I, I hear you. I but agree. give it I, back I, first. I agree, give it back you know first, and okay. some of them are getting rather large paychecks. I, I agree, Mike, but you know what? You are pointing out, and, and the reason it's taking place with the NFL, and I do want to agree with the last call, well, a lot of it has to do with the product, but a lot of this is about Goodell and the whole relationship between these players, the league, and the whole thing. It's just negative, and it's all coming to a head with this, with this issue. But That's what's happening. See, I disagree from this standpoint. You know what? People didn't, despite the bad behavior from these players, which we all had too much of, that didn't get people to stop watching. What got them to stop watching is the fact that they would not honor the anthem. 
I, th- I think, you know, Mike, I think, I think the ruse, I think the, the play, the, the play stinks. Wait, I'm just it's telling you, if, I, listen, all I'm telling you is what people have said to me, you know, they yeah, have not said to me, okay. I'm not watching because the play's bad. They're saying they're not watching because they don't want to see the national, the flag and the anthem be disrespected because it means something to them. That's what I'm getting from people. They're not saying I'm not watching because the play's bad. That's a different story. All right. Did I hear a couple of people say they wouldn't? They were upset and wouldn't watch because of what Beckham did. Yeah, I did hear that a couple from a couple of fans. And I'm sure the Giants got letters like that. As a matter of fact, I guarantee you they got letters. I know they got at least a couple because I got copies of them. They CC me. I got a couple of them. But I disagree about the idea that the play you, the owner has no rights. I think he does. He's an employer. He has rights. If you're a private citizen, no one can tell you what to do. It's America. But if you're pulling down a hefty paycheck and I tell you that, you know, this is the rule, then that's the rule. If you don't want to abide by it, hand back the paycheck and go home. And you have every right to do that. And the NFL runs the risk. And let me tell you. They're not, and let me give you the other part of this. If you have a talented or big star player who wants to kneel, they're not going to tell him to go home because he's a star and because he means that much to the team because above all, the owner wants to win. So the owner's not going to cut off his nose to spite his face. So is the owner going to tell his star running back or his star quarterback who knelt down to go home? He's not. Might he tell some third string guy to go home? Yeah, he might. Because that's the way of the world. But is he going to tell a star player to go home? No, he's not. No. Not before the game. Not if he wants to win the game that day. So it's a major issue. And the last thing I'm doing is getting to Trump. I'm not opening up pro con Trump. And I was against Trump doing this. And I said I was I disagreed with his tact on the NFL completely. But what he did has hurt the league. There's no question. And what Pence did this week hurt the league because it got so much attention. And the league knows it's getting hurt and its business is getting hurt because the NFL only reacts when their business is getting hurt. Otherwise, they never react to anything. If the dollars aren't being disrupted, they don't care. They've proved that time and time again. They've had guys that should have been suspended for their actions long before out there playing. They could care less. They care when it affects the bottom line. I told you, the, the, the color they see the most is green. Back after this.